These are the 10 most overrated units in Rome 2. And we're starting with the Celtic Warriors. So everyone thinks the Celtic Warriors are really nice and they are decent. But to be honest, I would much rather have the Egyptian Infantry, the Kushite Slave Infantry, the Club Levy, or the Baxter and Hillman. They are nice and cheap. They are not worth shooting, but in combat they will still do damage. And if you have those low tiers, you can bring more mid tiers or more first spears. Celtic Warriors are just a little bit too expensive for how vulnerable they are to missiles. And they will still get dominated against mid tiers. The only way you can get very nice value with them is by cycle charging and that's just not always the easiest job and by the way with the celtic warriors i'm also talking about the icini celtics of course the italian swords but i'm not sure if they are overhyped but i still see people bring them never bring those and i will also count the galatian swords and next up we got a very controversial unit those are the armored legionaries i know a lot of people love them but listen here why is rome so strong they got the very strong mid tiers like the veterans or the evocati cohort there's no reason to bring an almost elite unit that costs 930 or 980 for Mercedesly to do a little bit more damage or be a little bit more tanky. Those Evocatis will do the job, trust me. You got to make use of the strengths of Rome, and those are a lot of strong mid tiers. So trust me, don't spend the elite ones, it's really not worth it. Talking about legionaries, my next victim is the Galatian legionaries. A ton of people love them, and a ton of people even prefer them over the sword followers of Boyai and over the tribal warriors of Titus. And I really don't get that. They cost 800, which is very expensive. The sword followers are stronger, they beat them in a 1v1, and they cost 700. And, 60, and they have the same armor. The tribal warriors beat the sword followers and the glacier legionaries and they cost 740. And don't forget, they got 95 armor. So they're much cheaper and they are a much safer unit to bring because of all that armor. The only downside is they do a little bit slower damage, but it's absolutely worth it. And that is also the reason why I don't like Galatia, because of the two overrated units. Those are the glacier swords and the glacier legionaries. At number four, we got the citizen cavalry. And lately I got a lot of questions. Should I bring them? Are they even strong? All that stuff. And I get that. I was pretty previously also not sure if they were worth bringing or even if they were strong or not because it's a pretty weird unit but listen here almost every faction that can bring the citizen cavalry can also bring the tarantine cavalry which is the skirmish cavalry which is much tankier much more armor will hold out in combat and they got skirmish capabilities they're about the same price and if you think about it you should always bring the tarantine cavalry over the citizen cavalry if you need to use your calf defensively you always have them at your back line in land battles let's say and you always have levy freemen or spear units to support them whether it is a citizen cavalry or a Tarantine carry. And the nice thing about Tarantine Cav, you can use them very aggressively. You can skirmish the enemy down, hit their missiles or hit their carry, and that is very useful if your enemy can't bring skirmish carry, which is always nice facing a faction like Boyai or Averni. And because they are so armored, they can tank a lot of horse archer ammo, which the Citizen Cav wouldn't be able to do. So that's why you should never bring Citizen carry. And the next unit that is overused and people still got to understand that it's not worth bringing is the Oathsworn. And with the Oathsworn, I'm also talking about the units that you see now on the screen, but those are not really overhyped. Every time when I'm playing and I see the enemy bringing Oathsworn units or the units that I showed you on the screen, I always feel very bad for them. Because I see it this way, you can basically kill two Forex Swords units with basically the same amount of ammo or pila. And all these units really stand out with their square symbol. And every time an enemy sees them, they will remember to save ammo or just to blast that unit down. And you're just wasting a ton of gold on a unit that will not get you the value you spend on it. The nice thing about the elites that you see now on the screen is that they got a lot of armor, a lot of health, and they're just a lot tankier. So if you want to shoot them down or shoot them frontally, you're at least using a lot of ammo. Next up, we got the unit that the Oathsworn can kill. It's more expensive and a lot riskier. And those are the 1400 cost elephant units. You're probably now thinking, wait, how can an Oathsworn kill these elephant units? You have two options. Shoot wall with headhunt or the two pila volleys. And that elephant unit is dead. This elephant unit is so risky. It can kill your own units. And this elephant unit is just so much worse compared to the other elephant units in the game. And people still think it's alright, but you really need to rethink that. Next up we got another very controversial unit and that is the levy freer spears so i recently made the switch for egypt you have the carrion axemen and the levy freer spears they both have five volleys of pila and with both of them you can target the unit i used to bring always the levy freer spears but around a month ago i made a switch to carrion axemen because if you look at it they have five more health 55 health for a low tier unit is a lot they have the same armor they have 10 armor piercing with their axe you trade 10 melee attack for 10 melee defense and this unit can after throwing their pila actually do some damage the one thing I need to ask to one of you guys is can someone put the missile block chance of the carrying axeman and the levy free spear in the comment section because I think the missile block chance of the shield of the carrying axeman is much lower than the levy free spear one and while you do that make sure to smash that like button and the next unit which got also 55 health just like the carrying axeman but is a mid-tier unit is the chosen swords of Arverni they have 55 health 50 morale 
which is really low. Their melee attack is not that high compared to the sword followers or Galatian legionaries. Their melee defense is alright, but really their health makes them even weaker than only having 34 melee attack. And remember, this is a barbarian unit, so it should be strong. But if you just blast this unit with pila or missiles, it will die very fast because of the low health. Oh, I already know a ton of people who get mad at me for saying this, but the next unit is the Eastern Cataphracts, and especially the Royal Cataphracts. But I don't think that one is overhyped, but the Eastern Cataphracts for sure. Okay, let's start off with the melee defense. 17 melee defense, it literally can't defend itself. Only 10 bonus versus large. The one thing it does have is a lot of health and armor, but that makes this unit extremely slow. If you want to charge a unit, sure, you can tank the first Pila Volley easy, but to turn around or to run away from cavalry is literally not an option. In combat against other cavalry unit, you will lose against the Cappadocian cavalry, which only costs 800, but that one does have 15 bonus versus large and a lot more melee defense and almost the same armor. And they're not as strong as the Camel Cataphracts against infantry. Maybe this is personal, but I'm just really not a fan of them. And the final unit is the Eastern Slingers. A ton of people bring this unit, and I get it, for land battles, it's alright. But remember, it costs basically 400. It has 20 morale, which is extremely low. The Celtic Slinger, which costs 280, got 25 morale. 25 armor, which the Eastern Slinger got only 15 armor. They got the same health. They only have 3 more missile damage, with a little bit more armor piercing. This unit is extremely overpriced, and is being used way too much. But anyway, I'm curious if people agree on these units, and make sure to hit the like button so more people will know about this.